Hello guys, today we are playing a 1v1 match on a beautiful map, Fiery and Zeal in Battle for Middle of 1 on the patch 2.22 and this time we are picking random against La Samurai and we will get the chance to play with the Gondor faction, okay. So, for the White City boys, for the White City and that's also the beta. So basically we are testing stuff for the upcoming version of the patch 2.22 which will be the version 2.4. As you guys know, we are working frequently to make it as balanced and as fun as we potentially can. And also Fyrian Zeal was added from the patch 2.22. No. And I think I've never played a game on this map yet. So that's going to be the first time if I'm not mistaken or the second time. But even if I played on it, I really don't remember. <laughs> and also it has to be a long time ago. This way! This way! Make ready! This way! Be on guard! Okay, so as you can see, there are like two settlements close to the fortress. And we can use the uh, hobbits the Peregrine took to actually... You know, creep this goblin layer. Without Volchek. Oh, it's Isengard. Oh, it's a good against evil situation, boys. Okay, the White City versus the White Hand. And we will try something different, you know. Normally, in this matchup, you want to go for the horses, go for the shields, try to go for the base rush. But let's try something else. Let's try to invent a new meta for the game. Be gone! Watch your flank! This I mean, on the Alvin route, we should be easily able to fight this, no problem. Our soldiers, they will have increased armor, as long as they are remaining on the Alvin route. Our Hobbit was quite low, so we had to cloak him. That means he won't be able to contribute the fight against the Uruks. Hopefully, we will be able to get the last hit, which is going to be extremely important to get to level 2, which is, once again, in BFME 1, a huge power spike. Each level is so incredibly important. Okay. Hobbit, please, can you? Peregrine took, please heal up. Okay, he's healing up slowly but surely. We need to get some this cloak very soon. Can I get the last hit, guys? Come on, please. If I get the last hit, you gotta like, a, like the video. Hey, a deal is a deal. We got the last hit. But he took all the money. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay. I mean, come on now. You thief. You thief. I mean, Bilbo Baggins is supposed to be a thief, not you. Last Samurai, but I will I will make sure... Hey, sorry guys, by the way, but we need to... You know, it, it, it's, it feels bad, man, but we need to defeat the last Samurai. So after this game, there won't be any more Samurai in the entire world of Middle-earth. Okay, so it's a, it's a good start. We will be able to destroy one of his mills, and our soldiers, they should be able to deal a lot of damage because they are all about to hit level 3. And if we can, we should also try to save them. The Warchen is on cooldown, we know that. So there is no reason to not fight this. And oh my goodness, there is another unprotected... Dude, it's, I told you guys, it's been a long time since I saw this la map last time. Even though we made this map, by the way. I mean, it's a map from BFME 2. But we were able to retexture and redesign that. Because unfortunately, none of the textures are working in BFME 1 from BFME 2. So you cannot just copy-paste the map. And we will also hopefully be able to add more and more maps into the patch 2.22, not only 1v1, but also 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, and so on. Enough of this! Come on! It's only a monster! Okay, our Hobbit can actually be cloaked around this side to deny him to capture the settlement. It would be actually pretty nice if he can do that. Let's do this. And now we need to wait for the first Gondonite to arrive. And then you have a couple of options. I would like to creep to get the power points I need for the Rangers. So Gondor will have actually quite a lot of changes in the upcoming version of the patch 2.22. As for example, the Ranger Summon. So Ranger Summon, when you play Gondor against Rohan, was a really bad summon because unlike the Elven Warriors, the Rangers, they couldn't swap the weapons. Now in the upcoming version, they will also be able to, you know, switch to sword mode just to be a bit more useful against cavalry. But their DPS and their tankiness is equally just like the Alvin Warriors. So you won't have any benefit from actually Rangers versus the Alvin Warriors summon. And the second change I'm super excited about is actually to Boromir, the captain of Gondor. As you guys know, in the Gondor faction, two heroes, Faramir and Boromir, they have like a ability which is called Captain of Gondor, which was, you know, which is pretty much leveling up the targeted allied units, giving them, giving them experience. And, you know, Faramir has it already, and I think the Boromir didn't really need that. So Boromir's for Gondor, I mean, the captain of Gondor, will be replaced from with a new ability, which is called for Gondor, <laughs> very green took, uh, which is called for Gondor. And what it will do, I don't want to spoil it. 
hopefully I will be able to demonstrate you guys later on. So you need to be level 7 for that. I can tell you that much. Archer range now, that's good. Um, as you can see, we saved the level 3 soldier battalion from the beginning of the game. Now what we can do... Oh... Okay, we need to give this up, boys. I don't want to use Alvin Woods here. I want to use it actually somewhere else. Let's take this settlement for us. We can also creep the work layer right after. We should be in a good spot. Let's use Alvin Woods here. We can later on come with the combos on the spot. And there is another goblin layer. We might be able to creep this. Goblins are way weaker than the works. So with the horses, even though our Gondor Knights are badly damaged, they should still be able to creep this no problemo. Okay, Faramir, the captain of Condor, let's give him yet another chance to finally show his quality. <laughs> Dude, Faramir, I'm so sorry, but I mean, I have the feeling that Faramir is getting bullied all the time from his dad. So, you know, the good thing is he's used to that. So he has like a thick skin, you know what I'm saying? And Faramir is going to be also great to kind of snipe down those, uh, you know, the pikemen. So normally the meta was always Gondor spamming cavalry and Isengard spamming Uru pikemen to counter the horses. But... This is going to be a new meta, new strategy. I mean, again, I'm trying to, you know, trying to implement some new stuff. And hopefully, we will be also able to change the meta. And very soon, very, very soon, in about three weeks from now, we will have also a tournament for BFME 1. So it's going to be a 2v2 tournament for 16 players. It's a random ally tournament. So you basically, you cannot choose your own ally. It will be randomized all the time. It's gonna be so fun, guys. And every single game is gonna be live streamed on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards. Follow me there if you haven't already. You can find the link in the description down below. Together, knights, come. Archers at the ready. Mustn't let them close. Make ready. Come on, Faramir. Okay, we have Faramir and Poromi next. Oh my god, I was not paying attention, but oh he has lords on the field. The fighting Urukai. He's looking to cripple Boromir just like in the film, but hey my man. That's not gonna happen in this game. Okay, so we have three power points collected. We could, if we wanted to, summon the rangers to clean those pikemen, but it looks like we don't really need to do that right now. We might still need to do that later on. So I want to make sure that Boromir is getting the full creep. That's gonna get Boromir from level 3 to level 4, which will unlock the 60% increased uh, damage leadership, which is pretty nice in order to be able to burst down those enemy heroes. Because he has Lourdes now, but he might also have Saruman later on. We have a lot of power point in the bank. I'm very tempted to now use the ranger summon, to be honest with you guys. Okay, Boromir did his job. That's good. He needs to kill the Vorex. Oh, there is another creep. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we can now start capturing outposts. So outpost control in BFME 1 is actually essential. The thing is not only about buying the outpost, but also making sure that you have some sort of protection to keep the outpost safe. That's essential. And for the Gondor faction, it means you need to have some archers to put them inside the outpost citadel. You know, that's the key. So kill this ward, please, Boromir, and then get level 4. Nice, Zoo. Boromir. Look him, boys. He's looking like so serious. Okay, now we can pick up the rangers. I want to summon them actually to kill the pikemen. So let's summon them at the top side. We can split them later on. And let's kill as many pikemen as we potentially can. The rangers against pikemen, they are dealing incredible amount of damage. And with that being said, they should be in a phenomenal spot. Okay, so let's capture this outpost. I mean, guys, let me tell you. So... Obviously, rushing Gandalf is very tempting, you know what I'm saying? Like, because, you know, Gandalf is like the hero, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you also need to sacrifice a lot if you are looking to save for Gandalf. Especially early mid-game, Gondor, Gondor's economy is not going to be the greatest. So trying to save up for 6,000 would mean in long term that you need to sacrifice a lot of map control. Because Isengard army will be outscaling your army. You know, maybe not now with Boromir level 4, but we have no upgrades yet. So we need to make sure to capture the outpost. And again, also make sure that we can keep them protected. If you lose the outpost, you will lose so much momentum and also so much money. And we don't want that to happen. Okay, the lumber mill is going to be destroyed. That's very good. The rangers actually devoured us so much. And guys, but question by the way, guys. What do you guys think about this map? The Fiery and Zeal. And I think... BFME could use... Oh, he wanted... Look, this Lourdes. He wanted to steal my money. Hell no, brother. Hell no. 
You have already stolen the money from the first creep. That's not gonna happen twice in the same game. Okay, we have double outpost, boys. That's key. That's very good. The outpost is also very close to the opening side. So we can, you know, hit and run, hit and run. I am a player I don't really like to win with trebuchet. And you know me, I don't even like to win with AOD. So I'm trying always to win my, you know, most of my games without the usage of the siege weapons and also without the army of the dead. And that's also gonna be the goal. Hopefully, this game is gonna be also be possible to be won without the EOD summon, the army of the dead. Okay, so we have almost three power points in the bank. We need eventually two of them anyway for Gandalf later on. Um, money, you know, the money is not looking that good for us, but trust me on that one, it's going to be changed very soon. Once this, you know, the farms are giving us money, we will... Oh my, he's coming, boys. Oh, here's Saruman too. We gotta snipe him with the warm uh, with the warning arrow. Oh, he crippled Boromir. Deja vu, by the way. Can we please kill this one? Kill him, please. I'm gonna use Elvin Hood to deny him the watch. Oh my goodness, fireball on my face. We gotta give them armor and they need to engage now. He has no armor yet on the on the crossbow man combination. Oh, he's gonna steal them. Don't steal them. We gotta heal Boromir. Can we kill him somehow, please? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's so fast. We must take a fight <laughs> Saruman is like, I'm out of here. Okay, that's not good though. That's very unlucky. And our Boromir eventually is gonna go down. Oh, Lord is dropping the sword. And rest in peace, Boromir, the captain of Gondor. This time your brother was... Hey, Boromir, he died. Oh my, did you guys see that? The Berserker, as I was trying to enter the Citadel with my Ranger, he one-shot my full Ranger Battalion, every single one of them. They have splash damage, it means they will get the chance to hit multiple units at the same time. And he killed them because they need to be clumped as they are entering the Citadel. In one shot, killed my full Battalion. That's unbelievable. We need to actually... <laughs> That's so unfortunate. We need to now revive our Boromir. That's the key. It's very important. We have three power points almost in the bank after the Ranger summon. And we will need Gandalf. Oh, here's Saruman. Oh my. We need to make sure that he's not... When he is using Fireball, it's very important to switch to the Vetch Formation. Vetch Formation, this way your horses are going to be split a bit and he will be able to hit less. So basically there are like splash damages. And in this case, we are, for example, talking about the Fireball of Saruman or the Easter Light from Gandalf or the Hoax Strike from Legolas. If they are being casted on your horses, you want to make sure to switch to the wedge formation. This way they are split it and they won't, you know, you know, you won't lose many of them at the same time. So if you don't split them, if they are in this formation, the fireball might hit four of them at the same time, you know, and you will this way feed more power points and experience points to your opening. And we don't want that to happen, obviously. I think that's the enemy there. Men of Gondor. Okay, so I'm trying to go for a beast rush, but he's literally sitting with all he got in his army, I mean, in his beast. The thing is, I don't think Isengard has a lot of money. He has like two mils, and we keep destroying them all the time. So making sure that Isengard is running out of money. But again, evil factions like Isengard, especially with industry, you have always the, the chance to boost your, you know, money. That's the difference between Isengard or the good and evil factions. The good factions have additional summons to get reinforcements. And evil factions have more eco. So, oh, the fireball. Okay. You see, wedge formation was key. And then we need to switch back, though, to get a bit more armor. When you use wedge formation, you lose armor in exchange for a bit more damage. Okay, I mean, we are looking strong. We are looking strong. We have also marketplace. And uh, money is going to be looking very good. We can now actually engage a bit and try to deal some uh, structural damage to the tower. And it would be amazing if our Faramir can somehow get level 5. He needs one more level for that. Because then we have the Faramir leadership for additional armor. And Boromir leadership is already unlocked for additional DPS. Okay, good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, oh, if I forgot about them. Nice, though. Keep together. Rally together, knights. And guys, I'm telling you one thing. Every time I'm picking random in the last days and weeks, I get to play Gondor. Oh, he's coming, boys. Our land, our land is on cooldown. We're gonna use the rangers and try to. Oh, uh, maybe I used them a bit too early. Very smart move from him, actually. Very smart. Uh, my bad. <laughs> should have not done that. I should have waited for him to use Warchant and fully engage. What is Lord's doing? Lord's. 
Oh, he's almost level 5. Oh, him getting level 5 with Warchan, Saruman, they will have so much leadership. So basically, Lord Saruman, Warchan is like 110% damage and 100% armor. Hey, Faramir. <laughs> Dude, Faramir. Dude, I mean, what can I say? He was like going ham. We're gonna use the land here on top of them. And let's try to kill as much as we can. Kill up Faramir to stall a bit more time. Maybe Warm Tongue, uh, not Warm... I keep saying it's Warm Tongue, it's Wanding Arrow, sorry. <laughs> oh, the Buzar player. But they don't die because of, of the Alvin Hood, and they're also highly leveled. Again, level advantage, guys. Oh my goodness, don't get me started with level advantage once again. Okay, Paramir died, but it's it's okay, I guess. I mean, we have the advantage now. We have map control, and as long as he can't get anything of that after killing my, you know, Paramir, I'm down. Or level 5 combo battalion with fire arrow, actually, and also an elven wood plus uh, Boromir's damage leadership is extremely strong. Look how that look how strong. Oh, we gotta put Boromir next to them. Look, we are distracting him, you know. And that's what I, that's the place that I like to see. Now, I wanna play with every unit. In this units, they don't include trebuchet, you know. Because trebuchet, let's be real, that would be the easiest situation ever. You make like two combos, put like five trebuchet behind the combos, and good luck dealing with that. But that doesn't feel satisfying for me. If I can only win with army of the dead or with the trebuchet, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to always have like, I'm looking for a challenge. Okay, we need to be careful though, so not lose too many of these condonites. Heal, please, get run for your life, you fools. And during all this time, we are getting a lot of money and map control. Look at this. Run, please. We cannot afford to lose them. We should be in a good spot. Okay, nice. Oof. I mean, he's forced to camp at this point. And we don't want to give him too much time um, to actually build like five or six combos. And Saruman can level them up all the time with the speechcraft. So if we give him just, just too much time, he will keep leveling them up all the time. And then he will grow... A big army worthy of Mordor, and hey, that's not what you want. Okay, I mean, we have almost the Eagle Summon too, but you know me, I'm not gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for Gandalf very soon, boys. We need to invest two of our power points for Gandalf the White. So let's pressure him once again. You see this level 3 furnaces with the industry buff on them. Dude, they make so much bang for Isengard. It's unbelievable. Let's kill the pikemen. Okay, I mean... Oh, he has the warm tongue back again. And he stole my combo once again. Oh, please don't lose the level 6. Run the banner. Yeah, run for your life. Oh, man. Dude... You, get, you guys can see that, right? The game is so much faster now. Like, basically, the units are moving faster. You make faster money. The heroes are faster. The entire game feels much, much faster. And I personally liked it a lot. You know, I don't like the slow-paced games. I want to have this fast gameplay. And... Oh, actually, he messed up. Dude, I can save them eventually. Level 6 combo would be amazing if he can save them. Let's pre pressure him and actually force him to defend. Maybe we'll forget about the level 6 combo. We can also heal them if you want to, but hey, when he to. It comes arri arrives precisely when he means I can't even talk. <laughs> okay, our Gandalf is on the menu, boys. But be careful, please, do not... Nice, we destroyed the Uruk, but that's huge. That's huge, that's huge, that's huge. That means no more pikemen anytime soon, and also he will lose 50% production speed. So taking down the production buildings in the mid to late game from your opponent is very important. It will slow him down a lot. So for example, a Uruk... Level 1, Uruk pit, you know, recruit time is like, let's say, 20 seconds. A level 3 is like 10 seconds. So he loses a lot of time. Let's beat him. Yeah, cripple me, please. Cripple me, lords. Yeah, come on, lords. Cripple me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, guys, guys. You know what time it is, don't you? You know it. You know it. Hey, hey, hey. Go for it. Go for it. Boom! Sun on your face. The mind games, Faramir. You, there can't be victory without a sacrifice. Faramir, it was a good sacrifice, my friend. It was a very good sacrifice. Hey, what is this Lourdes doing? We can kill him. Boromir fights. Uh, we, we should make sure to not lose the outpost, though. Let's kill Lourdes. That means no more critical action is going on. Naisu. We will use heal to heal up Gandalf. Our Wizard Plus is almost back up. The Wizard of Middle-earth is gonna poke off. We gotta... 
Oh, the fireball, but the shield bubble, just like in the film, by the way, guys. And as you can see, Ganov is now able to use the shield bubble also as a button. We're gonna summon the rangers, and our rangers, though, are hitting extremely hard. That's what I'm talking about. Nice, nice, nice. So our Ganov is alive. Only, we lost only, I think, like one Gondolite in Faramir, and that's okay. Dude, we killed his lords, we killed a lot, and look, our Gandalf got from level 5 all the way to level 7 after one juicy visa blast. That's what we like to see. You know, uh, I, do, I won't use them, guys. <laughs> okay, don't tell me in the, in the comment section, but Shanks, you said you don't want to win with Trebuchet. And that's true, I won't use them, okay? I won't use them. But, you know, it's always good to have like a plan B, you know what I'm saying? Like, if everything, you know, if everything fails, you want to have like, you know, hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. Pretty much that's the thing. We didn't even lose any of the Gondonites, it's good. And now we have the Cloud Break. So, Eagle Summon would be not the greatest call here. Even though it's a bit better, why? Because it will slow down the progress to you to reach AOD a bit faster. Because Cloud Pig costs you 7 power points and Eagles cost you 6 power points. So we would be able to get, get to the army of the dead summon a bit faster. But keep in mind, I told you already, I won't be summoning EOD in this game to win. So that's my promise to you guys. We won't summon EOD to win this game. Okay, I, I don't know if Lourdes is back already. I don't. I cannot tell. So I don't want to risk the biscuit though. I don't want to be too greedy. Let's go now. I'm actually curious if he has the freezing rain already. I mean, he might have it because I have cloud break. So let's see. Let's commit for a fight. Okay, now, dude, look at the damage. Okay, he's gonna commit. He needs to fight this. He cannot let me do this. Farami is almost level five. I'm gonna put kind of. Oh, he has freezing rain. That means all the leadership doesn't really matter anymore. So we gotta deal with the horses. I think it's time to disengage now. Oh, Fireball! He makes money too from the pillage of Lourdes. I want to I wanna snipe him. Can I Can I snipe him? I'm going to go for a visa. Oh, he missed the cripple. Let's go. Boom! Gandalf! The white. The Mifrandia. Hey, Lourdes. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 Lourdes. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Gondonites. Be careful, though. We lost a battalion, right? Didn't we? Yeah, we lost. Boromir, don't die. Is he gonna steal them once again? I think he stole like the level six. <laughs> this level six combo is like I don't know what to say about this level six combo. He doesn't know, you know, who the master is. You know what I'm saying? It's like fighting one time for us, one time for Isengard, one time for us, one time for Isengard. That's unbelievable. Like be loyal, dude. Be loyal. Now I gotta kill you. Level six combo. I know it. It's bad, but it is who it is. You decide to fight against us all the time. Now you are gone. You know we are killing our own folk just because the warm tongue got in their brain and Gandalf has no release, unlike in the film. Imagine if you could do that, just like in the in the film. So if the Saruman is using Warm Tongue on enemy units, Gandalf is able to release this spell. You know what I'm saying? He's like, ha, 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 you have no power here, Gandalf the Grey. And he's like, are you sure about that, brother? You know? And then pulling off the, the white rope. Okay, we can go on the land and disengage from the land to regain our leadership. To regain our honor. <laughs> All right. So again, do you see? I'm just putting trebuchet next to the outposts. I'm not gonna use them for attack. And now we can. This army is looking strong now. We have Boromir and Farami in can of leadership. So basically, we have 100 percent armor and also 60 percent damage. And also the rangers have crazy DPS anyway. Oh, oh, look at them! Look at them! Take this, Arman. Pew! Oh, the war, the warning arrow chunks him though. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's what we like to see. Oh, level 6. I want to get Boromir level 7 to use the new ability. Oh, I'm going for it, boys. I'm going for it, boys. Boom, son. There we go. The juiciest was up last. Gandalf is level 8. But I don't think we will be able to get him to level 10. But my Gondonites, they are... I mean, my micro is not the greatest this game. <laughs> I'm telling you that much. Okay, we have AOT if you want to. But again, we won't use it. His army is trying to reach my Gandalf, but it's just like pointless. He's gonna lose. Oh, almost level seven. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he crippled me. Watch this. For Gondor, for the White City. Nice. So it deals now the units, and Boromir himself will be dealing 50% more damage for like 15 seconds. It's nothing too crazy. But as you guys know, the Gondor faction lacks of damage. So basically, in long terms against any faction, 
armor is good for tankiness, but most of the time you will need more DPS to, you know, kill trolls, movement kills, and also heroes a bit faster. And hopefully, this change to Boromir will not only make him more reliable as a hero, but also infantry more reliable as an option to go for as Gondor. Okay, just to, you know, sometimes you gotta BM, guys. Some, sometimes you gotta BM. We will use the EOD in the last possible second. After destroying every single building, we will use the EOD just to let, hey, just to tell him, you know, hey, hey, you know, it wasn't even close. <laughs> we have still EOD, by the way. We could, we could use it already a long time ago. Just to, you know, let him know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was a nice game. I mean, Gondor snowballs extremely hard, as you can see and tell. If you guys enjoyed this one, if you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. GG, well played. And hold on, we gotta use it. We gotta use it. There we go. Nice. Last Samurai is no more. We are victorious, ladies and gentlemen. Gondor by stand. Look at the money, look at the units. GG well played, I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves, keep hitting like a track, and also stay beyond standards. Peace out, guys.